welcome back to my channel thank you so much guys for joining me to this another video thank you so much for your support guys we just hit 1k subscribers i don't take that for granted i know it's just the beginning of a milestone but i don't take that for granted thank you so much for your support thank you for sharing my videos for watching for inviting your friends for subscribing keep it up guys and i don't take that for granted i'll put up a video to thank you to shout out to you but there is another video but anyway i hope you guys are being fine it's getting to the end of the month it's the end of the week and my fellow business owners i hope that you're taking it you're trying your best especially that you're getting to the end of the year i just came to talk to you briefly this is something that i've always wanted to share with fellow business owners but of course it's not even just about business any person can pick from it it's about how to stay motivated in business what keeps you going as a business owner like we always go through challenges think about this here what we went through like all the things that we went through the challenges the ups and downs what has kept you going what has kept you don't like what has made you to stay motivated in your business i'm going to share some of the things that personally have kept me going and if you're to realize by the way most of the videos that i share on this channel if you didn't know especially the inspirational videos is out of life experience i always share about things that i went through and how i overcame them so most of the videos are about that so i'm this kind of a person i had this one business back home few years back i wanted to let it go and one of my brothers i love him so much he gives me advice in business one of my elder brothers he helped me out to stay on track in business but of course all this while there are some of the things that have also kept me going things that i've done things that i've thought about and things that i've practiced that have kept me going to even fight for my business so i'm going to share it with you in this video and i hope that it can encourage someone especially business owners so the first thing i i wrote it here i always write because i don't want you guys to miss out any point and the first thing is having a goal i always share this in almost every my in all my business related videos and i always say the first thing before even you start up a business is having a goal having a reason as to why you're starting up that business because this is the same thing that will keep you going even when the challenges hit even when you go through ups and downs it will always keep you on track so having a goal as a business owner is so important because this is the same thing that will remind you for example personally i'm this kind of a person i do business because i don't want to reach my late age when i'm still employed by someone so that always keeps me going every time i think about it every time i think about my children the other thing is i don't want my children to grow to go through the same life that i went through so every time i think about that i just go up on track so as a business owner have a goal have a reason as to why you're doing that business the other thing is consider benefits over challenges I realize that in life people always think about the negative side the challenges the ups and downs how it's really how the all the problems that they go through when they're running their businesses but we don't even look at the positivity we don't look at the people that we inspire we don't look at that small profit that we get of course it can even increase with time so we don't think about that we always think about the negative side but the more you think about the benefits over the challenges it will always keep you going so for example i'll give this example about uh, uh, about my youtube channel uh there is a time and i understand that most of the youtubers go through this when you feel like that subscribers are not growing and sometimes you hit 100 and then the following day you find it at 80 when the subscribers have reduced and you just feel like letting it go but sometimes we, when we talk to you as supporters and you advise us of course i'm this kind of a person that welcomes both positive side and negative side if you come and give me something that might look negative but it helps my channel i'll always welcome that and talking to you guys you inboxing us about your about the feedback of our channel keeps us going so 
thinking about the benefits over the challenges is so important think about the people that you inspire those that look up to you is so important and it will always keep you motivated in business so the other thing is finding an inspiration from people that are ahead of you especially in the same in the same sector like you do of course you don't have to you can even look at the other sector but it, personally i advise people to look at people in the same sector to see how they do things to talk to them to get inspired maybe to share stories with them about how they reach to where they are so personally i remember in that same business it's a school in my country we have this guy he has a bigger school than ours so we always go there with my mom because he's a friend to my mom we always go there we see how he does things he talks to us he shares with us how he was like where his business was like in few years back in many years back so we always look up to that we always have that feeling that if he made it then we can also be where he is now so if you get inspired from someone else it really keeps you motivated so the other thing that i want to share with you guys is creating schedule so i realize that sometimes some of us are workaholic we always think about business the profits the next thing that we want to do for our business we forget about the other side of life we forget about the family the leisure side the other the other side of life we always forget about that but remember it's also important in life it's also important in life and balancing between business and lifestyle is so important and remember if you put a schedule and you always have it in mind that if i complete this task about my business then it will give me more time to stay with my family so it will always keep you motivated and of course you have this peace of mind with you for you even to fight more and to work more on that side of business that is the number four point and of course this takes us to our last point don't dwell on the past don't dwell on the past we always think about the past we always think about what we went through like for example if you tried out or maybe if you had someone that tried out that business back and you feel like they didn't make it then who are we to make it don't always think about the past don't think about the 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 failures that you went through the past even if you tried out countless businesses before don't think about the past think about have this thing that is going to be different because you're in the future so you should always think about the future don't think about the past so as i was reading through there is this there is this quote by one lady she's called deborah deborah sweeney so she's my namesake and she's a great entrepreneur i was reading about the quotes that entrepreneurs make and i tried to relate it to what i shared with you guys today so this deborah sweeney one of the quotes that she says that motivates her in business i'm going to read it for you and i'll put it there so that you can see it the best way to stay motivated when going the best way to stay motivated when going gets rough is to remember why you are doing what you do that is the first thing i shared with you guys about the goal you should have a reason i became a small business owner because i loved the thought of being my own boss that is the reason that she had at the beginning so which reason do you have to set up that business if you just like me of course i'm also like her I'm not this kind of a person that wants to reach my late age and I'm still employed by someone. So that is one of the reasons as to why I started up my mouth businesses. And of course, that keeps me going. Every time I think about my late age and I feel I think about that time when I'm still employed at 50, 60, 40, I just say, okay, let me wake up to my businesses. So setting my own schedule and getting the flexibility I wanted so i could spend more time with my family ultimately i'm doing this for them i love my business and everything it does for the small business community but whenever things get tough i think of why i sought out of this venture in the first place i feel grounded once again so i just feel like all the things that i shared are in this same quote and this is one lady i read her quote and I just feel like it's related to what i do so if you're a business owner those are the points that i wanted to share with you guys always think about your goal 
have a schedule balancing life is so so important because at the end of the day you need a life with you it's not all about business even if you're making money you need to have that time to spend it so think about those five points and i just hope i uplifted someone this week i just wanted to have a short chat with you so thank you so much guys for watching i just wanted to uplift someone and of course especially business owner i know what we are going through and especially in this stuff here let's just keep on going let's think about let's think about the benefits not just the challenges not the negativity be positive in each and everything that you do everything starts with if you want to be a great person it starts with if you if you want people to believe in you you have to believe in yourself first so how will you believe in yourself if you always think about the challenges and not the benefits that is what i wanted to share with you guys and i hope this video has has been helpful thank you so much for watching thank you for your support i don't know how many minutes it is but i hope it's not so long so thank you for watching thank you for your support if you've not yet turned off turned on the post notification bell kindly do so that you don't miss out on my upcoming videos my name is deborah and you're most welcome i love you guys and thank you for your support see you in my next video bye